I'm actually nervous and I really don't know what to expect because I've never done a, I've never done a content like this before like never in the three years of my existence on YouTube so I really don't know every time my family and I went to SML of Asia we always get to pass by this building which was popularly known for its horrifying tragedy there are questions like what happened? Why is this place haunted? Why is everyone talking about it? I'm glad you asked because I want to talk about it with you. Hi, my name is Chase and this is my Halloween special. It's almost time for Halloween and I think it's the best time to tell a story about some horrifying stuff that actually happened in my beloved country. And I'm telling you, I've been hearing this story a lot ever since, and it's time for you to know it. People have been talking about this, and I'm pretty sure that you are familiar with this. A grown-up must have told you about this every time you pass by this odd building in Pasay, or maybe you have read an article about it. If you have never heard of this place before, I got you. I remember back in fifth grade, um, my friends and I, I mean my classmates and I went here for a field trip. Yeah, we went here for a field trip, our school field trip, and we watched a show together. And I remember we watched like a sand show. I still remember how the inside looks like. Um, it's very dark. It's really, really dark. And you can tell that it's really creepy. During that moment, I have no clue that this building is considered as a terrifying building. After we watched the show, when we were on the bus going to our next trip, that's when the teacher told us that hundreds of people died on this building during its construction. The Manila Film Center is a national building located in southwest end of Cultural Center of the Philippines Complex in Pasay City. It was said to be home by hundreds of wandering ghosts. The story begins here. Back in the 80s, Imelda Marcos, the first lady of the Philippines, she was known for her extravagant lifestyle while the population struggled with poverty. She was considered as the richest woman in the world. She had a concept of turning the Philippines into starting an international film festival given the budget of 25 million US dollars. She decided to build a massive structure that was designed on the lines of the Parthenon of Greece. She had a number of 4,000 laborers who worked around the clock to finish the massive construction on the time by January 1981. And 1,000 workers constructed the lobby in 72 hours. November 18, 1981, at 3 a.m. The upper scaffold collapsed and wooden support gave way while being leveled on the 6th floor of the finished Manila Film Center. And workers fell into the wet cement. Imelda realized that it will take a lot of time to retrieve the bodies and the workers from the hardened cement. She ordered Betty Benitez, wife of Assistant Minister Jose Benitez, who was at the site to just pour more cement out of them while some bodies are still alive and people were buried on the spot in a rush to finish the building. Imelda banned the press from going near the site of tragedy. She banned ambulance and medical support for 9 hours. When medical workers were finally allowed, nobody was alive anymore. According to the Marcus Controlled Press, 28 workers were fouled in the accident. But the truth is, 169 people died and were buried from where I am standing right now. So there's a sign here that says, Caution, 
keep clear falling rocks, not as a public. The Manila Film Center is currently ongoing renovation. The amazing show management will be not held liable in cases of injuries or deaths caused from falling rocks. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation, the management of the amazing show. So I should be watching out for some falling rocks here. I might be dead because I was hit by a fallen rock. <laughs> Hope not. And I'm pretty sure that we're not allowed to go in. Because <laughs> there's something or I don't know. I know, there's a restaurant here. Isn't it weird? Isn't it doesn't it feel creepy when you're like eating in a place where like 169 people was buried on it? And in front of me, there is an amazing show sign. Amazing. Okay, assuming that this is... So yeah, I don't know what to do now, but I'm still gonna film. I'm so glad that Manong Guard was nice and he wasn't like strict or something. He just told me to delete that clip. And yeah, we're all good. I'm glad that he's really nice and friendly. Uh, uh, I'm actually nervous and I really don't know what to expect because I've never done a, I've never done a content like this before. Like never in the three years of my existence on YouTube, so I really don't know.